That's not the way to win, Johnny. To hit the mark just takes a little practice, Johnny. Just like everything else. we thank the Lord for the morning. Then we clean the church. Then he can polish her glasses. Grapes make sour wine. shoot a gun sometime? Johnny, I don't think I remember very well. Then why do you keep that gun on the drawer? It's not mine. I'm holding it for somebody. Gun, isn't it? That's right. I sure wish you could tell me about him. I heard he was one of the best shots around. Maybe. And maybe there was one better. If I ever meet Lewis, I'll have him teach me how to shoot a gun. I don't think you're gonna meet him. Down in Mexico somewhere. Is there a chance he's dead? I hardly think so. You want a drink, stranger? 
Well, that'll do me for a start. Hi. Hi. They call me Jessie. No kidding. <laughs> you know, Jess, I think I'm going to like this place. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, looky here. Uh, Jess? Ah, thank you, uh... uh Chesty. Oh, yes, Chesty. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what are you doing here? Why the hell ain't you in school? It's my saloon. <laughs> you see, you ask a stupid question and... And you uh, get an answer. Uh. <laughs> Where's your father? He's dead. Killed in a gunfight. Mm. That's too bad. Wasn't fast enough with his gun, huh? He was too fast. Huh. So they shot him in the back. Oh. Who shot him? I don't know. Happened before I was born. Johnny! I told you to come here. what you get. Just whiskey. Oh, this is Wild Mare's Milkman, and mighty fine, too. <laughs> I don't think you heard me. I said this is a respectable place. Yes, ma'am, I hear you. I hear you now. This is a respectable place. Oh, boy. Not you, too. Oh. Nah.
When have you get the sheriff? Oh, no, we don't need a sheriff, ma'am. We need a preacher. It's a case of self-defense. Everybody saw it was a case of self-defense. Right, fellas? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sure it was. Somebody go get the sheriff. Johnny! No, Jack. Now, please, ma'am. I thought you said this was a respectable joint. in Crane City, but also in Maverick, Normandy, and Spotford, not to mention Ryden. What can we do, Judge? Go call the sheriff. You coward! Coward! A man has been killed and all you do is stand around. Isn't there anybody in this town with guts enough to do something about it? A man's been killed, murdered right here in the saloon. I thought we were supposed to have a sheriff in this town. Judge Barrett. Get out of the way. Sheriff, why don't you go after them? Are you going to let them get away with this? You can't let them get away. Jenny, those men are gone. Judge Barrett, something has to be done. This man was killed. He was murdered by the Claytons. The Claytons. They have to be stopped. They have to be arrested. Do you know the Claytons? Listen, Sheriff, I... Jenny, take it easy. I'm glad those people are gone. I don't want any more trouble in this town. And going after them would just mean risking the lives of all these people. But they must be punished. Mine is the vengeance. Sayeth the Lord. Take your boy outside. Sheriff, I want to borrow your horse. For what? I got some business to take care of. Father. Now, why don't you stay the hell out of this? The Claytons are a very rough bunch, and I don't want any more of them in this town. Well? I suppose you'd better take this. Now, you people listen to me. Anything happens to this town, the responsibility is his.
to destroy your slumber, gentlemen. Well, boys, look who we got here. Local soul, save yourself. And what can we do for you, Father? Spit it out, Father. What the hell do you want? Now, damn it, Chess, them's plain bad manners. Please, please sit down, Father. We're always available for a good confession. Oh, Zeke, pour some coffee for our guests here. I came to return your nephew's property, Clayton. I'm asking you to come back to Juno City with me. The judge is waiting for you. I have the other one, too. <laughs> I wouldn't try it if I were you. Yeah, Jess, he's right. That man is right. Don't try it. Now, that voice. That voice rings a bell. Is it possible that we have uh, met before? I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Let's go, young man. I don't want to miss my morning mass. Well, Father, I'm afraid you're just going to have to miss it. The holy man don't travel alone. Yes, I. I think you better go along with him. Oh yeah. It's all yours, father. Him, I don't understand. He founded this community. This Christian community is a peaceful, law-abiding place. Sheriff, why not call the marshal? Don't take on the responsibility by yourself. Yeah, let's try the telegraph. Better late than not at all. Well, Johnny. And where were you last night? You didn't put out the candles. Go ring the bell, young man. You didn't know how to use a gun. How did he know it was me? Did you put it back? Food slop. It's not fit for the horses. In a few hours, it won't matter. 
You'll be hanging from a rope. I'll piss on your grave before I hang from a rope. You tell that to your sheriff, huh? <laughs> Don't. I want to watch the jerk hang. Try that again and I'll cut you in two. Get it? <laughs> I'll keep the key safe till the morning. You check later with the sheriff. Inside the bench. Bench. <laughs> Listen, I told the judge I was going to piss on his grave, and I'm a man of my word. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get the priest first. Why not get them both, huh? Come on. Hold it, hold it. Stand says, wait till sunrise, we wait. Come on. Uh, go back to sleep, huh? You said you did a great job the other night. With God's help. And yours too, Johnny.
ever meet Lewis. I'll have him teach me how to shoot a gun. I don't think you're gonna meet him. Down in Mexico somewhere. What's happening now, huh? Things is taking a change for the better. The judge is on our side. From now on, I'm the law in Juno City. Judge Barrett, Judge Clayton killed a man in my saloon, and now Father John's dead, too. Oh, now listen, sweetheart. Now, we came for Jess because he is innocent. Now, everybody knows it was a case of self-defense. <laughs> Now, ain't that right, Judge? Ain't that right, Judge? <laughs> well, what about the priest, huh? Who killed him? Have you forgotten about him already? What the hell was that? You don't mean to tell me there are horse thieves in this town? Horse thieves? Yeah, horse thieves. Sam! That little blonde kid. He just took two of our horses. Johnny! Let me go! Johnny! Johnny! You know, that's how I got started, too. Yes, yeah, stealing horses? Yeah, stealing horses. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go get him. A little bastard. Sheriff! Sheriff! Listen, honey, that telegraph is broken. That right, Sheriff? <laughs> you bastard. Me? <laughs> Come on.
found one horse. Rip's still out there looking for the kid. Where is he? I want to go. Now oh, shut Let up. Let me go. Yeah, get her out of here. <coughs> Unless we can get that kid, he can cause us a lot of trouble. Mike's right. Let's divvy up and pull out. Well, that's fine with me. I don't care what the hell you do. See, give me a share. The rest of it stays in the family. Big. Now, look. We got those plans to stay here and wait for that stagecoach to Stockton, and we are going to stick to our plans. Fifty thousand dollars, a chest full of gold. This here will do me just fine. Yeah, and the stagecoach is all yours, too. Now, you heard what the man said. That boy could cause a lot of trouble. I better take a look, huh? Oh, uh, what's happening with our sheriff? Oh, he's been well taken care of. Uh, <laughs> got himself a good caretaker, huh? <laughs> He don't like you made bad jokes. You go south, muchacho. You don't find anything till you come to Iglesia Destruida in one mile. Then nothing for two more miles till Pueblo Guerrado, where the Americano Luis is living. Hey, muchacho, you are loco to run in the street. Oh, está loco. They're beautiful. Who are they? The sheriff's daughters? No, they're not his. Mine. He's their uncle. How could such an ugly SOB have two pretty daughters like that, huh? I love them. Please, don't do any harm to them. Harm? You must be kidding, old timer. You know something? I love him as well. And I'm going to tell you just how much. Them too. <laughs>
Hello. What are you looking for? Hey. What's wrong? My name is Juanita. Who are you? What is it? Why don't you talk? You have a dry throat. Come, sit down. Now, is that better? You can talk now, no? You mean you don't want to? You don't want to talk. Oh, you can't. My father is coming. Maybe he can get you to say something. with you. You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> you could use a meal, a bath, and a bed. A bath first, come on. I think I'll be heading on back. We'll cross the frontier in the morning. So we'll camp here for the night. Yeah. Well, enjoy your money. And don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> all right, Sam. Thanks. It'll last a long time. I think I'll take a look up there. See you around. So long, Sam. So long. Thanks for everything. I'll be crippled all my life, but I'll be rich. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> I got duped by that goddamn kid, but now it's your turn. Well, if you're crippled, you'll never make it alone. You'll rot here. I can help you. Oh, no. Here. Here's your money. I don't trust you anymore. You don't trust me? Look, I only got two shells in my gun. Here. Now it's empty. Now you can trust me. Are you gonna shoot me? Well, if you wanna shoot me, go ahead. Shoot me in the legs. Go ahead, right here, shoot me, then we'll be even. No, 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 wait. No, I... <laughs> I don't understand. You 
still don't talk. Is something bothering you? Or maybe it's a secret. Something you don't want to say in front of my daughter? Well, don't worry. I don't have any secrets from Juanita. You know, kid, I can go along with a man who doesn't run off at the mouth too much, but, uh, At least you could tell me your name. Mute. brother sent you? Must have had a lot of faith in you to trust you with this. What's wrong, Johnny? Don't you feel good? In front of the church. Of four bullets or four men. Who did it, Johnny? Isn't there a sheriff in Juno City? When did it happen? Two. Two days? Father, listen. Listen, you're not thinking of going there, are you? But he's dead. And well, there's nothing anybody can do. Your going there won't help. You might end up dead, too. And well, I know you wouldn't have wanted that. I have to go. <gasps> Try and understand, Juanita. I've got to live with myself. I've got to go. You 
were born with that? Oh, happened when my brother, uh, Kids, our father taught us how to shoot. The position of the sun, the direction of the wind, dance. A hundred or more times a day we'd practice, in and out of the holster. John practiced so much he wore out dozens of holsters. <laughs> Nobody could beat John to the draw. Then one day, God put a Bible in his hands, instead of a gun. My story? It's a bit different. It happened in a gambling house in Abilene. That was my other life a long time ago. Self-defense, Sheriff. Self-defense. Lewis caught him cheating. He had these aces up his sleeve. Wherever you are, it seems there is always trouble. Jed has some mean friends in this town. I think it's high time you left. you off, there won't be one person in this town to put flowers on your grave. So we thought we'd bring you some, just in case. Sir, I'm. My name is Mortimer, and I want to thank you, sir. I'm really indebted to you. You see, well, what I mean is, I bet all my savings on you, and thanks to you, sir, I'm a very rich man now, an amazingly rich man, <laughs> and all because of you. Uh, I want to thank you, sir. <laughs> Go get your hat, mister. <laughs> A 
And don't forget your gun. There are a lot of bad people around here. <laughs> shot an innocent man. God judges men. How can you decide whether a man is innocent or not in a fifth of a second? What are you trying to say? It's time you stopped. Stop and do what? Hang up my gun, I'm dead in an hour. Leave. Leave? What do you mean? Leave and go where? Where you can start a new life. The only life I know is this. Listen to my brother, and my life has been different. But now I must do what I feel is right. It's a bunch of men on horses coming this way. Posse. Where? About two miles out. I'm getting out of here. Sam said stay put. I ain't gonna swing from no rope. Hey, you ain't gonna swing. You haven't got a head on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Be okay, that's my the Clayton. Hey, Jeff. See, remember that place? Dryden? Dryden? Dryden. <laughs> You mean the judge's daughters, huh? <laughs> So the sheriff didn't telegraph the marshal, eh? You know, you're a liar, Judge, a double-crossing liar. Sheriff! Sheriff! Now go out there and get rid of them. If you want me to treat your daughter like a gentleman. Go on. Marshal, it's me, Judge Barrett. Hand over Jess Clayton, Judge. When the sheriff saw you weren't coming, he decided not to keep him here. He took him to Fort Stockton. Damn it, you hear that? After three days' ride, we find they've handed him over to the army. Let's go after him anyway. I want to hang him myself.
You're a very smart man. Clayton always keeps his word. I think I'm gonna get her sister. Yeah, it's high time we all had some fun. Come on, let's go to the saloon. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, come on. Come on, yeah. Good idea. No. No, no. Animals, animals, animals. Oh, 
That's a goddamn crazy woman we got here. I ain't got no son. Everybody knows I ain't got no son. Go on, Jeff, have your fun. It's the truth, Sam Drake. Yeah, yeah, sure it's the truth. <laughs> hey, you really are a crazy woman. Your son. What the hell are you talking about? What is this mother of my son story? What the hell are you talking about? Get out of here, God damn it! Who are you? Don't you remember? A long time ago, in Dryden. What the hell? Dryden? Yes. Johnny, I mean, uh, why not? I, why not? Johnny boy. I got a son! I got a son! Hey, Curly, Curly, Zeke, Zeke, I got a son. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a son. I got a son of a gun like me. You know, I'm beginning to like him already. <laughs> He's got guts. Pull the fast one on his old man out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta find him. I gotta find Johnny. I gotta find my son. Time to spread God's word. And I won't need that. my brother.
Come on, get out of here, all of you. Come on, out! Out! Get out! Hey, Frank! Go get the money! What about the stagecoach? I said go get the money! Johnny! I know you're out there someplace. Now, come on! It's me, it's your pop! No! Don't say that! Don't let Johnny know you're his father! He's the only thing I have! I tried to raise him to be a good boy, and if he finds out, it'll destroy him! Shut up! Johnny's my son. He's my son, and he takes care of me. I'm alone out there in the desert. He fooled three of my best men, almost killed one of them. Oh, he's a Clayton, all right. He's got my blood in his veins. He's the only good thing I got in my rotten life. Sam, please, I beg of you, don't take him away from me. Ah, uh, shut up. Ah! 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 because he was drunk. See, get the money. The church. He's not there. Red, you go see what's happening. You too, Jess.
What do you think you're doing? I told you I didn't need that. girls, I think it's all over. Take a drink. Go ahead. <coughs> now you, I'm gonna hang you at the end of a rope. Move your ass. Move it! Not too far from the 
border now. Hey, Brother George, why the heck are we going to Mexico? Why? Well, Willie, because back there, there's nothing but death and destruction. And in Mexico, there's gold, silver, and those lovely brown skin girls. Sure glad I asked. There, Johnny. You know what those crosses are? This is an old abandoned mission. That's a cemetery. I, I got a surprise for you. Come on. You know, Johnny. Some people are born poor as Jewish mice. And others are, others are rolling in money. There. Now look here. Look what we got. We got $50,000, Johnny. All ours, kid. Yeah. $50,000 all in one pile. Bet you never seen so much money, have you? We're gonna enjoy the rest of our lives together, Johnny. Look, it's all ours. You know, Johnny, out there is, is Mexico. I always want to go there someday. To Mexico, maybe, maybe somewhere down near the sea. But I always kept putting it off, and you know why? Yeah, I'll tell you why, Johnny. I'll tell you why, it was because, because of my nephews. Zeke, and Jess, and then Red, none of them. They wouldn't agree. And listen, I'll tell you something. I ain't getting no younger. Time just goes by, and then, and then one day, one day you just get older and suddenly you find yourself all alone. You deserve to be alone. You shut up. You shut She don't know nothing, Johnny. She don't understand. Clayton! Father John was my brother.
Mine is the vengeance, saith the Lord. Here, here, look, it's yours, here, here, it's all yours, all fifty thousand dollars, it's yours, it's all yours, you understand, fifty thousand dollars, I got some more in this bag here. No! You take care of that, Johnny. 